Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Pius Classes. Today we are going to learn about a new mathematical concept which is geometry. In this video, we are going to learn about some basic concepts of geometry. So let us start understanding the concept right away. Let us begin today's class by looking at this picture. Let us now try to list out all the shapes that we can see in it. We observe such geometrical shapes in everything that we see around us. Next time when you go out to play in the park or visit a nearby market, do try to observe the different types of geometrical shapes which you see around you. So all the geometrical figures or shapes are built by simple figures like planes, points, line segments, lines and rays. Let us now understand these figures in details. Let us first understand what is a plane. We come across a lot of flat surfaces in our everyday life. The top of a table the surface of a paper, the face of a blackboard are all flat surfaces. Mathematically, a plane is a smooth, flat, two-dimensional surface that can be extended endlessly in all directions. A plane has no boundary. We can draw figures such as a triangle, square, rectangle, circle, and many more such figures in a plane. Let us know about the next figure which is a point. A point shows a definite position or location which cannot be moved. It is fixed. It is represented by a dot made with a sharp pencil on a sheet of paper. So when you make a fine dot on the paper using a sharp pencil, a point is made. A point has no length, no breadth and no thickness. Points can be named using single capital letter. The point in the given figure is represented as A. It can be read as point A. Points can be represented by the tip of a compass or a sharp pencil. Next, we will understand in details what is a line segment. A line segment has two fixed endpoints. As we can clearly see, they are point A and point B. So, we can say that the line segment has a definite, that means a fixed length, which can neither be increased nor decreased. It can be written as line segment AB or as line segment BA. Always remember that you can only draw one line segment between any two points. As we can see that in the above figure CD is the line segment. It has two end points point C and point D. It has a fixed length. In symbols we can write it as line segment CD or as line segment DC. Now we move on to learn about the next figure which is line. A line is a straight path connecting two points which extends endlessly or indefinitely in both the directions. Therefore, we always draw a line with arrows at both the ends. A line has no end points, the two arrows at both ends which we can see on the above figure shows that the line can be extended from both the ends. A line is written as AB or BA with the symbol of line drawn on it. Always remember whenever we say a line, it means a straight line. Let us now look at the above figure where XY is a line. X and Y are the two points in it. The arrows indicate 
that it can be extended on both sides. The above line can be written as xy or yx with the symbol of line drawn on it. Let us now look at another figure of a line which can be written using a single small letter. In this case, the above line can be written as line P. Let us now understand what is a ray. A ray is a part of a line which has only one end point and the other point can be extended in the other direction endlessly as it has an arrow in it. In the above figure, the end point is point P and point Q is the other point which can be extended in the other direction endlessly as it has an arrow in it. The fixed point of the ray is called the initial point of the ray. So here in the above figure, since point P is a fixed point, so point P is also called the initial point of the ray. The length of a ray cannot be measured as it can be extended indefinitely. In the above figure, CD is the ray where C is the fixed point. So it is called the initial point or the starting point of this ray CD and this ray can be extended towards point D. In symbols, we can write it as CD with the symbol of ray drawn on it and read it as ray CD. Remember, we can write this ray as CD and not as DC because C is the initial point or the starting point of this ray and is supposed to be the fixed point. The sun's rays can be compared with the rays in geometry. So, we end our today's video here as we have understood in details about some important concepts of geometry. If you think you have understood the concept well, do give a thumbs up by clicking on the like button. Also, do not forget to subscribe to Pew's classes and press the bell icon so that you get a notification whenever I post any such educational videos. So keep watching and stay safe.